men can be partners in ending gender-based violence. Addressing the issues we face in relation to gender-based violence is and should be uniting. Men can be partners in ending gender-based violence. Boys can learn to respect girls and treat them as equals. should start educating ourselves on the root causes of gender-based violence um, by reading articles done by feminists and le leaders in the field so that we can better, how I say, stop the cycle of sexism that exists in ourselves and other men. Um, we, should stop, we should start calling out those kind of things in public spaces when we see them, for example, catcalling, or when our friends make um, sexist jokes. Yeah. As a man of faith, I can be a part in ending gender-based violence by taking a stand against gender-based violence in all of this form. When I hear it expressed in my place of worship, I can speak out when I hear jokes and comments that perpetuate violence and harmful behavior. I can model and promote respectful, supportive behavior and conversation for victims and survivors of gender-based violence. As a man and a member of the church, I can play a part in developing a plan as to how we as a church can support people experiencing gender-based violence. Men can be partners in ending gender-based violence by fathers teaching their sons to be expressive, to understand that communication is key in any relationship and it is always good to share how one feels. Secondly, men can work together with other men to help them to have emotional intelligence. Gender does not only mean women, it includes everyone. That means us men too. Ultimately, the outcomes we want in this fight on gender-based violence are respect, shared power, shared space, collaboration, justice, just to name a few. And as men, we should be proud to say that gender-based violence is one of our issues, one that we support and one that we will help bring to an end. I think boys and men can join spaces and play an active role in ending gender-based violence by being educated and having that interest into doing something, to even understanding their own biases, their own prejudice, and how they contribute to the inequalities we see in society. With that, I think they can be educated, they can inform themselves and access resources on what domestic violence and sexual and gender-based violence is. And if any victim or if they've witnessed violence, they will have the information readily available to have the victim make an informed decision on what resources are available to them. And I think that goes both ways, educating and actively doing something in the partnership of ending gender-based violence. A key part of conflict resolution is learning to express oneself. By learning to express ourselves beyond the extremes of just joy and anger, we allow ourselves the opportunity for conflict resolution before conflicts devolve into violence. Together, we can help end gender-based violence. Together, we could be partners to end gender-based violence. Together, we can end gender-based violence. Together, we can help end gender-based violence. Together, we can help end gender-based violence.